Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the history of measurement units. So strap in as we travel back in time and trace the fascinating evolution of these essential tools. Units of measurements have been instrumental since time immemorial, helping civilizations trade and exchange goods effectively. Picture this. Around 2,000 years ago, Romans introduced the world's first known measurement device, an equal beam scale. This scale was designed in A out shape, with both arms spreading 7.4 inches wide, and each arm had metal pans of about 1.5 inches in diameter. The Romans and the Greeks established the humble wheat seed as the first known unit of weight, using it as a standard to measure against other objects. Farmers would compare their produce's weight with the weight of these grains to set a fair exchange rate. Advancements came from the Arab world, who established specific weight standards for precious materials such as gold, silver, and gems. Fast forward to the 13th century, trade had expanded significantly. But there was a problem. Different parts of the world were using different standards of measurement. To address this, King Edward I of England established a uniform standard that eventually gained acceptance globally. In a major leap, in 1793, the French government came up with a revolutionary system, the metric system, based on a ground line running through Paris from the North Pole to the equator. Though initially unfamiliar, by 1837, it had become the standard across Europe. Showed different types of scales. As trade expanded, the need for accurate scales became paramount. The first scales using a simple balance beam gradually evolved to cater to the changing needs of customers and distributors. In the 18th century, Richard Salter from Bilston, England, introduced the world to the first spring balance. Known today as a fisherman's scale, this invention marked a milestone in measurement history. His brand, Salter, was also the first to market bathroom scales in England. Modern home scales owe their existence to these industrial prototypes and continue to be based on the spring balance concept. And that, folks, wraps up our journey through the history of measurement units. I hope you found this as fascinating as I did. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting historical journeys. Until next time, keep exploring.